horrible fighter. Horrible fighter. I can't, I can't just, even insult him a, like that, can I? That's a disgrace. <laughs> a disgrace. You're like that guy who's like, I got your back, bro. I got your back. No <laughs> problem. No problem at all. And then when that when that fight comes, you turn around and he's not he's, there he's anymore. Gone. That's he's you. Gone. The next fight is going to be a monster because I think Canelo would take that Andre fight. But Do you I don't he would? necessarily Do you think he would take the Benavidez fight. There's a lot of different factors going on in this fight. He's really struggling to make the weight. So when, so when can we get something going on? Oh. When can we make it happen? When can we make it happen though? What do you think? Man, you, think? you fight with no man, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are a champion, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, you avoid him at 54. Hey, you avoid him at 160. You, now you're going to avoid him at 168. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck are you doing? No, no, why'd you make him get out of here? Go home. Don't, don't do that. Let's <laughs> get the fight. Go home. Go home. Go Welcome to another episode of Blood Last Boxing. I'm Sam. And I'm Baz. Today's episode is Canelo. Ducking Benavides. We'll get into it in this episode. Let's go, Baz. The Mexican monster. <laughs> Yeah. I guess before we before we go even go into that, there's a massive fight that is coming up this weekend. Demetrius Andrade, Boo Boo, Boo Boo Andrade versus Benavidez. It's going to be a classic, isn't it? It's going to be a tear up, stuff. It's going to be a tear up. Or as some people saying it could be a chess match. Both skillful fighters. I'm very happy for Andre getting mm. this getting this opportunity. He's he's almost been ducked by a lot of the big fighters for so long. And it's, you reckon, I, you, do you reckon Andre's been ducked? Do you reckon? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Do yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like Beverly Benavidez has been, but I don't well, I don't feel the Ken, same way about... Supposedly, Canelo's ducking Benavidez, but there, there are rumours that the winner of this fight gets Canelo. If I'm honest, I don't think Canelo would want to fight a Benavidez because of the size difference. I think he's probably learned from the whole Bivol thing that maybe jumping too high... You know, getting too close to that sun like Icarus, you know, <laughs> get too close and you, you know, your wings burn, mate. So, sign the contract, <laughs> sign the contract. <laughs> we had that famous saying, Bene, Bene. Well, bad, Andre, bad. <laughs> Andre was trying to get the fight with Canelo, it just, just didn't happen. I thought Andre had a genuine shout for that fight with Canelo, he'd won everything he needed to win up to that point. Canelo was looking for the next fighter, but he said he's, he's an horrible fighter, horrible fighter. <laughs> Uh, horrible. <laughs> Who have you? But fought? is he a horrible fighter, Baz? I mean, you've been watching Andre. What do you reckon? Is is he a horrible fighter? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's very awkward, isn't he? he like yeah, we saw but... in that Liam Williams fight, and there's mm. like, a couple of other fights. He he, he loves to throw from angles. He fries from strange low, angles. High. Strange angles. You know what he reminds me of? You remind he reminds me of like a um, a young Chris Eubank Jr. And that's not like I'm not I'm not dissing him for that. I mean, in terms of throwing punches from weird positions, like yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that odd sort of style. But he's very accurate oh. with it, though. I yeah, think there's yeah, a difference very, there. Because he, he, yeah. he's like a, a clinician. He just he targets the head of the body and he hits mm. the target nearly every time. Yeah, he doesn't really waste a lot of energy. No, no. Um, and he's got these long arms. They're like these are like alien the arms. He's it's just like, whoa. <laughs> it's a bit like Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury's got some like crazy long arms. That you know. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even link Tommy Fury? No, to so I, I, can't, I just, can't even insult him a, like that. Can I? That's a disgrace. <laughs> a disgrace. Why are you besmirching Andre in the name I'm like sorry. that? I'm like I'm a big the fan of Andre. Like I feel he's sorry, one of those bro. fighters who just doesn't. I shouldn't get even the mention love. you in the same same light. <gasps> you know what? I, I started watching dirty. Andre. Like he signed with the Zone. He's one of the Zone's big signings under match room there's a lot of fanfare made about it it's when they were trying to crack america and it didn't yeah. quite work out they spent a lot of money on him they didn't mm. really get the numbers on design for they wanted and then unfortunately it's really, it's really hard go. for that those u.s fighters though i feel to to mm -hmm. get the numbers they really gotta sell themselves and i think that's what that's what he's lacked a little bit he's, he's lacked that pr stunt behind him well they push they push money trying to trying to push him out there to the public but mm. i think that's not enough you you have to push yourself as a fighter yeah. don't you really yeah. to build that name get your name in the limelight and i think like the charlos it's... like the like the mm. beverly is like of the world well benavides i 
I, I guess the thing with him, he's got that Mexican background. They love the fire. This is it. And, yeah. you know, Me- Mexicans do well to, yeah. to sell themselves. And I think you said it before with regards to the different states in the US because you've got all the different states and he kind of, each state kind of backs their fire, but it kind of depends on which state you're from. And just because yeah. you're known in one state doesn't mean you're, you're known around the US. Whereas in the UK, if you're a good fighter, generally you'll be liked and well-known at across the whole country rather than just like London or up north in the uh, so I think that's the thing there Andre look let's break down the stats Baz Andre he's got 32 and 0 he's got 19 KOs it's not a massive KO ratio it's respectable it's respectable yeah it's about 50 52% you know I worked that out on the maths he is 35 years old and I think that's that could tell in the fight that's a Uh, good point that's a good point whereas we've got Benavidez 27 and 0 23 KOs good KO ratio there Baz that's brutal that's I mean brutal. percentage wise that's that's high that's high I mean if Carlsberg did knockouts that's that's how much percentage yeah he's a killer he's a killer <laughs> and he's age 26 as well so it's almost like a 10 year gap yeah yeah younger model yeah I mean there is a height difference Andre is 6 foot Benavides is 6 foot 2 so it's a little bit there and the reach so one of the biggest strong points for Andre is that long reach and it's it's done him well in the past but now he's coming to get up against Benavides so Andre is 73 and a half inches his reach you got Benavides he's got 74 and a half inches so that reach is is kind of it's gone that what all these yeah. All yeah. his positive points is almost ruined there. But Andre is southpaw, isn't he? That's it. That's it. He's a southpaw. No one likes fighting the southpaw. No one likes fighting that southpaw, bro. <laughs> Stay away from <laughs> southpaws. We keep saying it. <laughs> but they need to fight too. Southpaws have feelings too, you know. We, we don't <laughs> We don't want to discriminate against the southpaws. <laughs> We're going to have a... Mm. <laughs> it's just like get the, get the, get the you know, placards. Southpaws have it. feelings too, you know. They need to fight. They need to earn okay, a bumper living. sticker. <laughs> I, I am really looking forward to this fight. Like it's a one, I think, a bit more for the boxing purists. Yeah. I don't want to call it. Like, I mean, do you have a feeling of who you think is going to win? If I'm honest, I feel like Benavidez will get the job done, mm. and I. And I think that because Caleb Plant in his last fight was doing a number on him for quite a few rounds in terms of punch output on him. But if he does gets caught, in it, he does get he gets caught. caught. He gets, he gets caught. caught. So he's got he's got but a he, he, solid. He's got that equalizer power from different angles. So. This is it. This is it. And he wins the points by just racking up them power punches. I feel like Andre will probably probably he's work got- like work the jab. He'll probably keep his distance more. I reckon because he'll be worried. We worried about that Mexican monster. Mm. And, it, and and eventually the monster's gonna come for him, and it's gonna be game over. Lights <laughs> out. So you what you going Benavidez then? <laughs> I feel like it, bro. I feel like it. I just you know like I don't want to rat Andre off, but uh, I just can't look past the, mm. the power, bro. And the power's yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I think Ma- Mike Tyson named him the Mexican monster. I mean, if Mike Tyson is naming you mm. that, then. <laughs> Looking at the resumes, it's difficult to tell who's got the best, better resume. But Andre, I think the resumes were, he's got was, a good amateur record. They're similar. Got, they're similar. He's got an impressive amateur record, and I think that's why he's been. This is it. He's been avoided, Andre, this and he, and a lot of fighters just didn't want to fight him. He was due to fight Billy, Billy Joe Saunders at time, and then mm. he, he got he got done for the nasal spray, Billy Joe Saunders, and that fight fell through. I thought nasal. that would have been a, that that would have been a great fight as well. I'm ashamed that didn't happen. Uh, maybe that's something they revisit later on. But uh, yeah, yeah. What are you, you, know, it's, what are you feeling it's, then? So? It's tough to tell. I there's there's a couple of there's a lot of different factors going on in this fight. So I think one of the biggest things for Andre that he struggled with in the past is down the stretch he tends to slow down and he's, he's he can get caught. And I think that's been issues to do with making the weight. Like he was mm. really struggling to make the weight, and now he's I think he's jumping up from one sixty to one six eight. So that's. I think that's going to be a benefit for Andre. But yeah. then on the flip side, has he felt the power of a one six eight fighter? So you, you you've got different things they're working against each other. So some of the yeah. positives are going to be outweighed by the negatives, and it's yeah. a tricky one to try and call. And it might be one of those bads where I think I have to see them closer up in fight ah, week, don't a head to head so at the way in. On. Listen, just listen. to get a feeling. So if what's... you just want to like. You can just admit it, bruv. I mean, I, I win nine times out of ten between me and you. This, uh, it's just one of them things. I mean, I may be the younger brother, but 
I was just born more look, gifted. Look, look, what can look, I, I say? I, I, put, I put myself back. We've been, we've been, we've been <laughs> both doing well the last couple of weeks. We've been getting it right. But no, look, let me wait to get to fight week. Like, let's get to the weigh in. It may be even a case of watching the two fighters before they get in. That's how late I might drop the prediction. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, like, I, I can't, I don't want to do it. I would have gone for Andre, but there's so many different factors working here and things are working against it's him. Such a cop out. You're such a cop out, bro. You're like that guy who's like, I got your back, bro. I got your back. No <laughs> problem. No problem at all. And then when that when that fight comes and you turn around and he's not it's, there it's anymore, gone. that's it's you. Gone. It's gone. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> Uh, I'm lying. I'll, I'm lying. I'll you fight to the death. <laughs> like, if, anyway, anyway, I, look, I, I think it's gonna be a great fight. Yeah. Uh, we haven't touched on the undercard. We need to have a look at that. But you know, I'm, I'm glad Andre's getting that big fight. Yeah. And yeah. if he wins, the next fight is gonna be a monster because I think Canelo would take that Andre fight, but Do I don't he would? necessarily Do think reckon? he would take the Benavidez fight. So. I don't, I, I don't think he's going to take either of them because Canelo has been, been plotting nicely. I, I think he's avoiding that. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. But it's on Showtime. Tune in. It's going to be pay-per-view. UK. We need to have a look at how much that actually is. It, hmm. uh, I, I need to have a figure. I need to do some research. We should really know how we're going to watch the fight because in the UK. We should do. <laughs> what? Hopefully someone's picking up the rights from the UK so we can have a watch of it. Is it uh, yeah, we'll find it. We'll find it. If you haven't already, we always, hit that we like always find a way. Hit that like button and subscribe. Boosh. Thank you